Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here. It is the Earth Master on this side of the microphone, Wednesday, July 10th, 2024. It is about 7.22 p.m. here and got a decent-sized earthquake coming in here to the Philippines. I'm noticing uh, the signature here of a very large earthquake coming up around the Papua New Guinea area, Japan, Barrett. They're in Southern California, actually getting a little bit of the P wave adjustment as well. At the same time as this 6.6 .6 earthquake coming in, very deep, almost 600 kilometers deep here for this uh, earthquake. Little uncertainty on the uh, correct magnitude. Doesn't look like there's uh, USGS has picked up on this earthquake yet, but we know there's definitely a strong earthquake uh, coming into this area. Uh, very slight movement here around the uh, Santo City area of Philippines, hardly noticeable. And the reason for that is because of the tremendous depth of this earthquake, 633 kilometers. That's almost unheard of in this area. Uh, of course, the Philippine Trench, right? They do see a lot of deeper earthquakes there in that area. But uh, below that, 633, that's just absolutely crazy in terms of that the uh, depth of that earthquake. Again, the uh, P waves, S waves starting to come in right now. Notice when this earthquake struck, uh, there was a little bit of adjustment there in Southern California. This Barrett station there is in Southern California, a little spike of an earthquake. So it just goes to show you when we got some, some significant movement out here taking place, we'll almost see automatic adjustment take place here across the Eastern area of the Pacific plate. I had to jump out of the pool on this one here. So if you hear me shivering a little bit, it's cause I literally just got out of the pool, a nice warm pool outside and uh, it's cold here in the computer room. But I did want to cover that real quick uh, for this earthquake. Let's go ahead and check out the, uh, there it is. Ooh, they've actually upgraded this to a 6.9, a little bit stronger here, uh, near seven pointer for this earthquake, way deep into the Philippine trench here, 620 kilometers. So let's check out the tsunami warning center. Currently, there is no tsunami, uh, tsunami warning advisory watch or threat from this earthquake. So that is a good thing. Uh, super deep into the uh, Philippine Trench area. Uh, it probably will be felt, obviously, at the surface levels directly above the earthquake. But luckily, fortunately, with that depth of the earthquake, that will keep damage at the surface levels and prevent any tsunami from taking place there. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on this region in general. We've seen, uh, you know, quite a bit of deeper activity here regionally, uh, locally around the area, I should say. And that one right there should stir things up uh, even further across maybe some of the surface regions of the Philippines area. And um, just possibly, generally, this whole area may need to be watched for some further movement. But for now, a large 6.9 earthquake striking very deep underneath the Philippines into the Philippine Trench, which is right about here and way underneath this area. That's, you know, it's a good good news that it's pretty deep. We don't have to really worry too much about damage here at the surface. Had it been shallow around this area, say 10 kilometers or less, and we're talking about potential damage because that is a very large earthquake, almost a seven pointer right there. Has been reviewed, as you can see on the historical map here, the dark circles representative of the deep earthquakes that take place here in the Philippine Trench. Gray, moderate depth, and up at the surface levels, you got the white earthquakes there uh, along the major subduction zone there of the Philippine Trench. That's where some of the big ones, the bigger ones, can take place. I'm talking a lot bigger than the seven-pointer. All right, so obviously we'll watch uh, things travel around the globe in terms of the surface wave. Eventually, this large earthquake will show up uh, across all of these seismograph stations. Right now, it's showing up the closest there on the Papua New Guinea station uh, due to, the uh, obviously, the proximity of that seismo in relation to the earthquake uh, down here. Just up to the northwest of Papua New Guinea a little bit. All right, folks, I'm out of here. We'll cover this and more in tonight's update. I'm going to go back out, jump in the pool because I am freezing. Have a good night. Well, of course, we'll see you guys back out here a little bit later uh, for the uh, Wednesday night update. Stay safe out there.